as we start this beautiful journey of living through Gita, the Bhagavad Gita. I'll be providing summaries of my learnings as we progress through the 18 chapters. Bhagavad Gita is the best life manual that will ever exist, so I really hope that this series helps you and me to live life to the fullest so that we are in touch with our consciousness on a daily basis. Bhagavad Gita is a conversation that took place at the end of Dwapar Yog in the battlefield of Kurukshetra between Lord Sri Krishna and his dear friend and devotee Arjun where Arjun had to fight against his own family, his cousins. This Vedic scripture is not only for us to read, but it is directly applicable so as to elevate our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, you might think that why did Sri Krishna choose the battlefield to impart knowledge to Arjun? Reality is that Arjun was already an enlightened being. He was above ignorance, but he was put into ignorance by Lord Sri Krishna so that he could ask all of those questions of how do you face the problems of life? How do you face those unsettling emotions? And so that Krishna could answer it for the benefit of those in Kali Yuga, for the benefit of you and me. Krishna says that to attain him, you don't really have to run from the material world. You don't have to really renounce everything and go sit on a mountaintop. You can attain him in the midst of adversity, in the midst of your and my life being a battlefield where we are faced with confusion and chaos, but we can still move towards clarity. If Krishna wanted, he could have imparted this knowledge in private to Arjun before the war began, but he didn't. He chose to do it right in the middle of the battlefield where even the enemies could learn. The key over here for us to take is that it is possible in Kali Yuga to attain peace, to attain Krishna, to attain liberation, to break the cycle of birth and death. I'd also like to note that Bhagavad Gita is by no means a religious text. There is no mention of any religion or for that matter even temple throughout this book. So it is like a life manual that every human being should stick to on their day-to-day -day basis if they really want to move from chaos and confusion to clarity. Just like how Arjun went in this journey with the help of his mentor, with the help of Lord Sri Krishna.